Hello there. So if your drawing skill on this level that as my sketch right now, that is okay because with AI, we can take this image and convert to very decent digital illustrations. So let's go ahead and step by step, see how we can do. Right here, I sketch out uh, the guy who is preaching. And what my goal is to do is set up him as a man who preaching on the streets of New York. So this is my premise I want to do. And in this case, you can just simply do stick figuring or something else, just to sketch very roughly what you want to see or to have it pose. The next, what I want to do, and we're kind of familiar with this, take this image, save as JPEG. And by the way, this is an image. It is 1024 by 1024 resolution. We save it and now we can go inside the uh, AI that you're using. I'm using Mid Journey and I'm going to kind of rendering here. So let's go ahead and start with this. What I want to do first is take this beautiful image that I created and upload it to my Discord. So for this, we click on a plus sign and we'll go and click on upload file. And right here, I have my file saved as JPEG. So let's go ahead and open and we'll just press enter so it will upload it. Now, when our image already on the server, we can click on the image, right click and says copy image address. This is what we wanted. So let's go next and try. So we'll go and type imagine. Okay, now paste, okay, paste the path for that image we was using space. And what do we want to do? We want to the um, man preaching on the streets of the okay, where's my of the New York. We maybe add something else afterwards, but I think that will work for now. Let's go ahead, press enter and see what we'll come up with. As I done before, I kind of already know what is come and just a little bit help you. It's probably will be black and white because we don't have colors and our figurine will look um, something a little bit funny, but that is okay. Okay, so right here as the render is done and if we look, it's far away from be realistic. <laughs> look on this legs. It's I think it's even add some hair to the legs. But at this moment, what I want to do, I want to go and check which one I like it. Notice sometimes it switch the hand because usually people use the right hand and left. So it's most likely, which is okay. I think I put a wrong hand, but it is, I like it's add book. So, but right here is on the side. We can go ahead and try to render again. So at this moment, at this point, what I'm doing, I try to find the right permutation of the image that will get closer to what I want to have an idea. If you need it with a hand up, we can specify a little bit more like a uh, man preaching with a left hand up and so on. So we can add a little bit more details at this time. But what I'm trying to do, just find something that work with my idea. Because for example, if I want to do the man who preaching on the streets of New York and about this pause, it's what I want to use it. So this is, I will run few generated till I find image that correct. Okay, let's go see what we have it. And you know what? I like this. I like actual guy with the stick. So I'm going with this one. So when I decide one image that I like it, that is will be my next step. I'm going to click and upscale this image. Okay, so here's our upscale. And if we look from the sketch, this it's not bad. Okay, but it's not what I wanted. The reason because it's no colors, I see outline that I don't want it. So what next I'm going to do is not use an image, this one, what we've done before. Now this is will be my reference image. For this same, I click right click and says copy image address. So this is will be my main image at this point. And I'm going to paste, copy paste the address for this image. We're going to copy the text we have before, but we'll need to add a few things now. The one thing, let's see what we're missing. We're missing color. So let's put it full colors. Okay. Let's go add rain. Okay. Maybe traffic, very large crowd. Uh, if I can only type properly. 
4K, very large crowd, and a man preaching on the streets of the New York preaching. Do I spell preaching correct? You know, um, yeah, I think it's all right. It's one thing when English is not your first language, sometimes you can have it very creative English. Okay, so I think that is okay. And then what's happening, I will start tweak with line a little bit more, add elements. Right now, let's try this, press enter and see what we have. Okay, let's look, look at this. It's huge, different from what we have before, you agree? Look right here, except we switch hands here, but we have it colors, this one actually on the bottom look not bad at all. You know what? I'll just go get one more variation. So I'll click one more redo and see if we come up with something better. Okay, we have done the variations. And you know that ooh, this one, look on that face. That one is a very good face. This one still will look like a little bit more. Um you know what? I think I know what's wrong. Okay, let me let me do this way. Let's go copy the string. Okay. We copy, we press imagination again. And I will modify because I, you know, it's something not there. And it's, I think the reason that we need to add word photorealistic. Photorealistic, high details, realism. So I'm just specifying the more realism. So it will have it there. Uh, haze. It's add a little bit depth to this one. Crowd facing. Maybe let's do this. Smiling, laughing. I think it's how you spell. Okay, of the New York. So the man, let's put it this way. The man preaching on the streets of the New York. Full color, rain, traffic, very large crowd, very large. Smiling. The reason is why I put smiling also because it will force it AI to put it faces towards me because otherwise AI yeah, says how does it look like smile face no it does not look like smile face so it will ignore some of the supermutations but if you put it like with the blinking eyes with the wide open eyes or something that display face will AI more kind of will force it to render with a face it towards the person and that's what I want to do it's why it says right here crowd smiling and laughing all this stuff we also can put it like uh, man preaching on the preaching left hand up or left hand pointing to the sky let's go this way on the streets of new york i think that will work okay let's go try and see again what was going on now okay it seems like does not still showing well some faces right there but okay so let's see what i've done we have this image that we uploaded the first sketch next we're gone we selected from one that closer that i like it next we have it same image well not first one but second image we take we add string and i start playing with string so what i did i paused for a second and i went and i create different permutations so we can look over and it's probably the best way to do this so you can see what changes was done and uh, it will also help to see on some wording what have i done and i'll speed up a little bit okay right here what generally i done in this i gone over and you notice i upscale some so if i see some i say this character look cool let me upscale don't worry about too much how it's look i just care about face of the person or position the hands and other stuff. So I'm right here, upscale, and I say, oh, that look interesting. Shoes, nah, not necessarily don't like it. This is another one. I like the positioning, very nice. So we have it another one. Notice we have right here some of this like painting. And then reason why I says, let's introduce stuff like a photorealistic, high details, everything. And when we're done photorealistic, you can compare, look on this, the example of the face. It's more realistic than drawing. So we have it a little bit better with this. Again, we're gone with photorealism. A little bit more kind of things that I'm not necessarily like it. And next, positioning sometimes may work. For example, right here, I put photorealistic first because I want to emphasize that image need to be photorealistic. And as well, I thinking, you know, the, this is kind of point on him, but I want to create a bigger crowd. The landscape, you will create a bigger crowd look. And that's what I did right here. I put a three by two and look, it's look better. Now we have the better crowd this person actually we had a person staying right there 
So let's look next. Same things. We have a nice crowd. See the faces look on him like they're discussing. So I do like how right here we even have it kind of up front right here. Mess up a little bit with the hand, but general people like listening the person. And there you go. It's like this one. I love it, except the I don't know how many fingers right here, maybe 20 fingers. I don't know. It's a very specific hand. He have it. Um, I wish the mid journey someday. Probably they will work with the remove spaghetti hand fingers. But right here, I do like how his stand is a bit rainy, hazy. Give it. And the reason is why I add a haze word. It's given it us this depth of perception because this is 2D image. Okay, whatever we're doing, it's 2D. The perception of the depth give it us by uh, desaturation, lust of details, lust of contrast. So, and this is what we have with this. You can see how depth going far away. This is another one. Same with standing. And at this point, just check when you do these steps, uh, what face looking. And after we're done with this, you can still reuse. Like, for example, I like the character was right here. So I right click says copy this image. This is my third time. Remember, we have the first image. So we have, we have, we have come back, come back, come back. Where are you? Right here. We have a, this. Uh, no, this one was first. This is our second. Yes, image we're using. I use it this as a third. This one, I think, is third. Yeah. And right here, I reference this image. And here we have it, our fourth permutation. And you can see now it's come up real good. Now we have a good illustration like right here. This is look very real. You know what I mean? Look on this. It's look very real image. Okay. Perfect. I mean, in a crowd look nice. So it's very good illustrations. Here's another stuff. And it's like, I do like how it's chatting. You know, it's like speaking. This one is very good. I love it. So, and again, but here's interesting things. You don't need to stop here. Okay. One thing what I found a lot of people when they ask questions says, Hey, how I can do from image this for some reason in a mind, it's look, you can use it just one image. No, you don't use it just one. Okay. Don't just upload your photo. You can upload it from selection. You can select which one you like it. What is most closest or, you know, sometimes not necessarily closer closer not to your drawing closer to your idea in your head because all what it does it is you don't have drawing skill for example or you do whatever or like sketch for example assuming you don't have a drawing skill so that's happening here you try to use your best ability to have it our digital art done and that's what we're doing here we have a primitive sketch the idea i want to express and next i'm creating and i'm expressing this idea with AI help to multiple stages to all this kind of um, work process workflow, creating one image, second, take this third, fourth, and so on. But we base it on our original sketch. So if you look at this one, this still representing our idea of the person who's staying on the New York Street and preaching to the crowd. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you found this video was interesting, give you different perspective to look how to create the digital work based on your sketches. Go ahead, use it. Um, give thumb up, subscribe to my channel and share this video. Help other people see. Thank you for your help. and Have a great time.